Yeah, uh, I, I, I got this uh, collector calling me from Texas saying that I owe like $36,000 on a credit card that I ain't ever even had. Mm-hmm. And they threatened to take me to court in Cottondale, which I know Cottondale ain't even got a court. Right. And uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to deal with these people. They keep calling me and they keep sending me these letters and stuff in the mail. And uh, they threatening me. I'm a retired military member, disabled veteran. And uh, I'm just, I don't know what to do with them. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your call. We appreciate that. So what do you think? Well, Joe, that's actually uh, kind of tough and unheard of. If it's not your debt and you can prove that it's not your debt, uh, I would submit any type of proof that you can submit to them. But if they're calling you and it's not your debt, it may become harassment at that point if it's not your debt and they can't prove that it is. What do you think? Yeah, it, it, it probably is. And there's some folks that actually deal with that. We have a couple of lawyers that we work with. Uh, that deal specifically in fair debt collection practices. Now, uh, and you can give us a call and we can give you their number. And if it's a legit company, you know, somebody you can get to, they can be responsible for, uh, for damages. Uh, one thing that you have to realize is that for them to collect a debt or for them to uh, try to do anything legally, they're gonna have to file a claim in court and you're gonna be served with it. And at that point, you'll be able to call somebody like Ruby or somebody else and get it cleared up with the court. So I wouldn't worry too much about it, especially if you're pretty sure that it's not a legitimate debt. Uh, but give us a call and we'll give you the number of somebody who can uh, maybe harass them back. Yeah. And I guess there's so many scams out there. You gotta yes. be so careful.